again and welcome to Chem Crackers. Today, we're addressing a little problem that grandma has. It's the COVID times and she wants to make some carrot juice. But she has a problem. She wants to know, will it be better to fill this blender with water and extract the carrot juice from this carrot at one go, trying to get all the nutrients as possible? Or will it be a better option if she just uses half the volume of carrot juice and extracts it twice. What will she do? How can you advise her? We're gonna do that today on Ken Crackers. Okay, so last time we did a solvent extraction calculation in which we determined the partition coefficient for compound A dissolved um, in two solutions, aqueous solution and hexane. Now, 100 centimeter cube of hexane was used to extract about 7.13 grams of compound A from a 1,000 centimeter cube aqueous solution containing 10 grams of compound A. Now, what we're gonna to do today is that we're gonna ask a question. What if we use two 50 cm cube portions of hexane successively rather than one whole 100 centimeter cube portion? Would we extract more of compound A? Let's look at it. Now, let's recall that the equilibrium that we have here is compound A distributed across water and hexane. So, last time we determined KPC for that, the concentration of A in hex over the concentration of A in water, we determined that that value was 25. That's where we ended. Now, in this situation now, we're gonna be looking at, okay, how much would I extract if I use 250 cm cube portion instead of the whole 100 cm portion? Now remember the whole 100 cm portion extracted 7.13 grams. So, we don't know how much each 50 cm cube um, portion is gonna extract, so we're gonna to have to use a variable. So, my first assumption is gonna be, let x grams of compound A be extracted by the first 50 centimeter cube portion of hexane. Now, if X grams is extracted, then the concentration of A in hex would be the mass extracted, X gram, over the volume, which is 50 centimeter cubed and the concentration of A in water would be what was left in the water after extraction. Remember X is extracted, so we start with 10 in the water, okay? And X is extracted, so after extraction at equilibrium, we have 10 minus X grams remaining, and the volume was a thousand centimeter cubed. And so we have the concentrations of both, um, of compound A in both the hexane and in the water. At least we have expressions. And but we know KPC, so we can plug these values in and then calculate the value of X. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna say, okay, KPC is equal to 25, which is equal to the concentration of A in hex, which we know is now X divided by 50 gram per centimeter cubed, divided by A in aqueous solution, which is 10 minus X over 1,000 centimeter cube. 
Now, because both of these have units of grams per centimeter cube, the units are going to cancel and then you're going to have no units for your answer. So 25 will be equal to x over 50 and inverting the denominator there, so make it 1000 over 10 minus x. All right? And so if we say then that we can cancel this down, that goes into that once, that goes into that 20, and then we can go 5 goes into that 5, 5 goes into 24 times, and so we can make, break this down as 5 uh, times, this should have been 10 minus x here, 5 times 10 minus x is equal to, bring that up, 4x. And when you work that out, the value of x is 5.56 grams. So therefore, after our first 50 mil, 50 centimeter cube portion of hexane extraction, what we get, we extract out 5.56 grams. Now let's see, when we do our second portion, how much we're gonna extract. So then, the first 50 centimeter cube portion of hexane extracted 5.56 grams of A. Now, remember that originally we had 10 grams of A in the aqueous layer. That means the mass of A remaining in aqueous layer would be equal to 10 minus 5.56. That leaves 4.44 grams of A. Now, we're going to go to our second extraction. So, for our second 50 cm cube extraction of hexane, we're going to let y grams of A be extracted. Okay? Now, if y grams of A is extracted, then the concentration of A in hexane will be y grams over 50 centimeter cube. So y grams, y over 50 grams per cm cube. And then the concentration of A in aqueous solution would be how much you started with, 4.44 grams minus y over the volume, which is a thousand centimeter cube. Now we can plug this back into our expression for KPC. So KPC, we know, is 25. And that is going to be equal to the concentration of A in hex, y over 50, divided by the concentration of A in aqueous, 4.44 minus y over 1,000 centimeter cubed. So 25 is equal to y over 50 times 1,000 over 4.44 minus y. Now, if we cancel that down, to make it simpler, that into that goes 1, that into that goes 20, 5 into this goes 5, and 5 into that goes 4, and so we come down to 5 times 4.44, minus y is equal to 4 times y. And that is going to work out to 20.2 minus 5y equal 4y. And then y, if you work that out, is going to come to 2.47 grams. Right, so 
if we add the two masses extracted, we can get the total mass extracted. First portion extracted, 5.56 gram. The second 50 cm2 portion extracted, 2.47 grams. So therefore, the total mass extracted would be equal to 5.56 plus 2.47 and that is going to be 8.03 grams. So therefore, by using two successive 50 cm cube portions, we extracted 8.3 grams out of 10, as opposed to when we use 100 cm cube portion, we extracted 7.13 grams. So grandma, you're gonna have to do some more work. If you use half the volume and extract it two times, you will get more nutrients and the carotenoids that you need out of your carrot. And so make a strong, healthy drink. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Ken Crackers. See you next time.